Hi guys, welcome to the Geek Scale. My name's Ipro Banjo, and today is going to be another moany video, as was the last one. And I'm going to moan about Total War Warhammer. Looks like an amazing game, but, 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 the pre-order bonus. I don't like DLC that much. I don't think anyone really likes DLC. I wish I got all the content for free, but Total War Warhammer is taking it very, very far. Um. Chaos Warriors are the pre-order bonus. And if you're not familiar with the world of Warhammer, that's like leaving out Moria. Not Moria, Mordor. From a Total War Lord of the Rings game. Which would be very silly. <coughs> um, additionally, this content is going to be available on day one. Day one of its release. Just day one of the game's release. Which means the content is finished before the game's release. Meaning everyone who buys the game on day one without pre-ordering it is actually paying the same price for an incomplete game. For less of a game. And it's quite a bit less as I'm about to explain. So, there is the Empire in the main game, there's the Dwarves, there's the Murderous Vampire Counts, and there's the Brutal Orcs or Brutal Orcs or Greenskins. That makes four factions. <coughs> um, the pre-order bonus adds an entirely new faction. And let's see what this fact oh let's see what this faction involves. So new horde campaign playstyle. So um, an entirely new campaign and playstyle two th or three new legendary lords new chaos Warriors, pretty much an entirely new faction and campaign because there's only four of those in the game already this means <coughs> as the pre-order bonus they have 20% of the game experience behind a paywall upon release which was finished before the game's release now, I was pissed about the Greek States DLC for Rome 2. But this just takes it a little bit further. Little bit. Because this game does actually have a bit of a story. And it leaves out a massive chunk of that story. Like, it leaves out an, ent an entirely new story without like leaving out the Chaos Warriors. And it just makes me angry. It's like leaving out Chaos Marines in a Warhammer 40,000 game. It's like saying, Hi guys, we're going to make a Mario game. But leave Luigi behind a paywall. It's just stupid. Anyway. I actually took my copy off of pre-order upon finding out about this. Because I'm not going to um, support this practice. And actually, um, the amount of dislikes the announcement video for this little campaign got has beaten the like to dislike ratio of Rebecca Black's Friday. So, great. Well done, Creative Assembly. In addition, fuck you. Ta-ra.